Hello there, Internet version 2 here with Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today, we start the end. We start the Champion's Ballad. We have been through a lot in this game. We've done four Divine Beasts, 120 Shrines, every single side quest now. We've defeated Ganon, although that's not been saved into the canon of this game at this current time because we time traveled back to before that for the th thing. But after our long, long journey here, it is time to go out with the Swan Song. The Champion's Ballad, which I've been told is actually a really good swan song for this game. It's a really good way to end the game. We chuck it in here, and let's begin our glorious adventure for DLC. Champion verification complete. That is that is that DRM activating the Divine Beast Tamer's Trial. All in the Great Plateau. We've got four of them. Okay. Associated locations have been marked on the map. I've heard this is difficult. I've heard the entire DLC is rather difficult. So... We've got that to look forward to. What on earth is this? A weapon? Take hold of the provided weapon to begin the trial. Interesting looking weapon. Why does it- why is it four point- okay. One hit obliterator. Well, part of me questions whether I'll be able to use this outside of this and, or get a photo of it or anything. So let's get a photo of it now. Yeah, we're starting the DLC by getting good photos of weapons. What of it? This is me we're talking about. I've always got to- That is actually not the best photo I could get of that, so let's just change a little bit. That's a better photo. Yeah. I mean, it blends in with the background a bit. It's a similar color, but okay. Your weapon stash is full. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me drop something. I don't think I ever took a photo of that. Ah, I'll do that at some point. After the... After it. Sorry, brother person who I... Like, went through a big thing to get that weapon. That didn't look good. It's like the Master Sword draining our health. That's a lot of health to be losing! Seriously? I can see why it's called the One Hit Obliterator! What the fuck? I am Mazkoshia. I now address the one who wish wishes to master a divine beast. To undertake this task requires unwavering dedication. Did all the other champions do this? That weapon defeats foes with one hit. However, the reverse is also true, as the wielder will also fall to a single strike. You can use this weapon's ability only twice within a set period of time, only when it is glowing. When enough time passes, the weapon will regain its sheen along with its power. So I get to kill enemies in one hit twice, and it has to recharge at the four marked locations within the Great Plateau. Defeat all monsters present to prove your power. Okay, I can see why people were saying this is hard. What the fuck? If you're not up to the challenge, leave this plateau. The weapon will return here and the trial will end. One hit obliterator. Infinite. <laughs> A weapon that defeats foes with one hit and causes the user to die from one hit. It loses its sheen and power after two consecutive uses, but will eventually regain both. What the fuck? So just an entire challenge of one hit kill. Okay. Fuck me. Fuck me. Jesus. Okay. What the goddamn shit? Yeah, no wonder people were saying this was okay. Oh boy. Please don't tell me this is the entire champion's ballad. Wielding the weapon, I mean. Okay, well, we can't even take fall damage or environmental damage and the entire place has a pretty color to it. It looks like the weather forecast is going to be permanently cloudy. So we've got someone in the forest of spirit. Part of me wants to go to one that's open first to see what the deal is. But this one, uh, no, let's go to the open one first. 
We'll go to the one that's out in the open so we can at least see what's happening. I'm guessing eating food isn't a way to cheat myself back into more health. This weapon looks weird too. <laughs> How it's just four big point things. Okay, wait, important question. Can I use a bow? I can use a bow! Okay, that is good. Well, in that case, where's my ancient bow? Ancient bow, come to me. If I can take things on from a distance, I will. And I've still got my Hylian shield, so I can at least block attacks. And this thing's pretty fucking sturdy, so... Jeez, okay. Over this way? Yeah. To the tower and to the right. One hit... Okay. Random question. I can save during this as well. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna fight as few things as possible. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it with pointless enemies. My concern is... Upon the inevitable death that I'm going to receive, because one hit kills, how far back do I respawn slash do autosaves exist in this? That is ominous as shit. Is that rolling down a hill there? Motherfucker, I see you. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Well, if anything, the Great Plateau is actually a pretty good spot for this in terms of enemies. Oh, no, we've got those alphas here. The layout of it is... The layout of it is a microcosm of the rest of the game, so they can vary up the locations a lot here. But I can already see, yeah, they've got big things. There, okay, yeah. This is more than just what was normally here. There's actual problems here, too. I mean, I could dodge their attacks and everything. I can also just do this. Really? You can bet your ass I'm gonna cheat this as much as I possibly can. Fucking ancient bow for the win. God, there's a lot of them here. Ancient bow. Oh, one of those is a silver. Okay. So I actually need the one hit obliterator on that one. Hello. <laughs> I get two hits. Hello. Okay. How long does the charge... Okay, so the charge comes back pretty quick. So it's you can't run in and kill everything instantly. It's not a... You get two hits, and you got to wait a really long time for them to come back. Use them wisely. Fucking bees, assholes. Hello. The freaking... Lizalfo's wily little fuckers. Yeah, we go. <laughs> it's just the one hit. It's just the one hit. So it's just a matter of being careful. Hello, I see you up there. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, okay. So you just okay. So once you kill all of them, a shrine appears. It seems this is a shrine thing. No. Okay. What is that? Oh no, it is a shrine. It's a shrine with a giant penis on top of it. Okay. Everything is dicks. Fuck you. Well, fuck the decks. That's it. Okay. Okay, I can. Okay, I'm under. I'm understanding this. So let's go around. Be careful. Do it literally perfectly. I still don't know how I feel about it being one hit kills. I, my uh, opinion on instant de on insta death has been, let's say, well noted on this channel, of it being kind of a cheap thing to do. And here it definitely seems it. The encounters seemed built around the idea of one hit kill. It's not just chucking a bunch of enemies go. It's if you're careful and take things out from a distance and if you dodge in combat and hit them and kill them in one hit, it's about it's about approaching and executing an encounter perfectly. That encounter isn't a long endurance thing where you can't make a single mistake. It's 
If you get the approach right, you're done. If you don't, you're done. So it's at least built around that, but it's... Uh, I Okay, I am Rotachiga in the name of the goddess Halia. I offer this trial. Stop to start, and I'm noticing we've still got one hit kills in the shrine. Is the idea that when they bounce you fall off them? Is that the thing? So what I'm worried about is if I die here, do I come back to the beginning of the shrine or what? Okay, so if you're careful about it, you don't have to. Okay, I would really like that to not rotate that particular way, but. Okay, yeah, with careful maneuvering, this is actually fine to navigate across. Okay. It's not completely death inducing. You just gotta time it right. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. This is fine, this is fine, this is mostly fine. Until it's not fine, I. Fuck it. They put bonus shit in here too. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me with your bonus bullshit. One it kills, don't. They're tempting me. Can I climb this? It's That's a box I can climb, right? We're gonna find out. It is, yes. <laughs> Yay! Oh, man. Hey! A forest oil of shields is back! Hey! Well, I'll drop something for that. I, I'm, I'm forgetting my buttons. It's, it's fine, it's fine. This is really encouraging for how well this is gonna go. Da 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 da! Yeah. I, yeah, I'm confident enough with that. And we've got big things set that. Mm. Oh, Jesus, okay. How much does this stop? Okay, it doesn't stop all of it. Look at those ones up there, though. I'm, I want to stop that one, though. If there's one I want to stop, it's this one. Because jumping onto that is going to take a second and roll me around to there. But here I can run away from the place. This I can do. And then jump up here? No? Okay. Uh... Go! Slightly nerve wracking, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay! It's okay. It's okay. I'm just waiting for the cheap thing to fall on me from somewhere and kill me. Fuck off. Fuck off. Are they moving side to side, the ropes? Yeah, the ropes carrying them are moving side to side as well. Fuck off. The last one's the one I want to stop. And I missed it, so whatever. Damn it! <coughs> I timed that bad, what can I say? Bye, game over. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, at some point I'm gonna fail, obviously. It's... Where's the last save? Is it mid-shrine? Beginning of shrine? Fuck, okay, back to the beginning of the shrine. Okay. Okay. Fuck. This makes me not want to bother getting that forest roll of shields. Fuck it. Bonuses are not worth it because they're time consuming. <laughs> I got it once, I don't need to get it again to prove my worth to myself. It's fine, it's just a shield that I already have a photo of. And I didn't even. I said I was gonna get all the treasure chests and all the shrines during the main game, and I didn't do that, so. Fuck it, we don't need to roll that back now. Fuck. I keep pressing the jump button to get out of that, I don't know. Look. Get up here. Okay, this part's fine. Cut to one of my many attempts of this going to be me doing not fine here and getting absolutely slaughtered. Timing this is so awkward. Just every part of this is awkward as shit. Go, 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 go. 
Nailed it. Frickin' nailed it. Again, I'm waiting for something. I'm waiting for something. Bullshit. I'm waiting for it. What is gonna happen when I press up my step on this? <coughs> of course! Of course! I knew bullshit was gonna. Okay. Undo, please. Fuck. Fuck off. Fuck off! Fuck off! Damn it! Oh, this is. Mm, mm, mm. Urgh, getting grumbly. <laughs> getting grumbly already. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. It's the having to redo all of it that's, get it that's gonna get me. It's having to start from the beginning of the shrine that's gonna be the one that is gonna be the part that does me in. Oh, boy! What is this, one of four? One of four, okay. Please, for the love of God, tell me that the later parts of the champion's ballad and not this one hit kill stuff again. Please tell me that's the case. Slash tell me- as long as there's more to this than the one hit kill stuff then that's okay but fuck me. It's built- the whole experience seems to definitely be built around the idea of one hit kill. It's built around it so it's not the worst it could be. It- mm, mm, I'm still mm, about it. Can I turn around and just stop that wall from chasing me with stop powers? Is can I? Is the game, will the game let me cheat in that regard? Because I'd be really intrigued if it would. Okay, they've gone. God, oh, fucking damn it! It swung back so quickly that time. What the hell? They're not swinging on an even pendulum. They're just bouncing around willy nilly. Because that time it hit the wall and then went back and then came back again. It's dangerous to approach enemies, but fuck you. Oh, 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 oh. Champion's valid, more like champion's assault. Jeez. Oh. Right, mmm, this is not what I was expecting this DLC to be at all. <laughs> not even slightly. Oh boy. That's enough. Yeah, this is very far from what I was expecting this to be. Just go through this. Don't get hit. Don't die. Uh, just stop. Oh. This swinging ball part is probably the one part of this that I'm actually no, this is bu this is, bu this is actual bullshit. The other parts of this, they're known quantities. What's happening? You can see it. These things are. Like, they're not swinging back and forth evenly. They're fucking bouncing around like crazy. So that goes there, and then, and then, look. And then it comes back. I still know. This is fine. Just don't. Come hit me. Okay. I bet you could probably stop this wall behind me, but the time it takes for me to turn around and stop it, I might get hit just during that. I, part of me wants to risk it, part of me doesn't. See, this part here feels like trial and error. It feels... Okay, okay. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Okay, so I've wasted time already. And then one comes from here. They come from both sides. That's all right. Okay. And then we jump up here. One's going to come from that side, I feel. Oh, uh, no, no. Fuck you. Wait, on here? Okay. Run! Fuck you, trial! We did it! Yeah! <laughs> okay! One of four! One of four! This is the DLC! This is. Mm, 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 uh, mm, uh, I paid my extra for. Uh, it's. Um, it's not as bad as it could be. It's it's not as bullshit as it could be. It's still kind of bullshit. It's instant death. That's inherently kind of bullshit. It's not as bullshit as it could be. But hey, maybe we'll actually get all those extra hearts during this. Maybe we'll actually be able to max out our heart meter. Da -da 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 Bing. Yeah. May the goddess smile upon you. Thanks, goddess. Mwah. Not that these spirit orbs getting extra health are gonna help me right now because instant death, but they'll mm, they'll do they'll do something maybe. 
That, uh, uh, okay. Again, at least it's built around the idea of one-hit kill. So what's there is about... It's more about navigation and being careful as opposed to testing perfect timing, perfect reflexes, perfect everything. Still, though, it... Mm. Mm. I'm still not keen on the idea of fail once, restart every- oh, fuck off. Go away. I forgot decayed guardians were around here and could still fire shit at you. Do not trust walking next to all these explosives. At all. Wait, where am I going for this one? Okay, it's in this forest. Then we've got one on the mountain, so I need to put cold shit on there. Don't want to die of- Don't want one of my deaths to be- Oh, I didn't put on cold stuff when I was in the cold area. Whoops. I don't want- I don't- I don't want that to be one. I don't want falling to my death because I forgot the glider or I dropped too high from the glider to be one of them. Those two would be way too embarrassing. Is that it there? I see those panels there, so it looks like it could be it. This place looks very different when you're worried about death at every single corner from an extreme force and... Yeah, this is... yeah. Oh! Fun! Fun! Oh god damn it. <laughs> well hey, I hit them both. That counted for both of my hits. Okay, so yeah, it comes back really quickly. It's actually really quick for it to come back. It just means that you can't run in and kill everything instantly. It just means you need to take things on carefully. Okay, that being said, if that one is a fire breather, then let's just kill it instantly. Yeah. <laughs> I know my deal. I know how this shit works. I know what I'm doing. Kinda. It's amazing how bad I am aiming at this with this ancient bow sometimes. I'm gonna, oh. <laughs> I will abuse arrows while I'm here so I don't have to get close to anyone to fight them. I have a couple hundred of them and I've got a, an amazing pretty much perfect bow. It doesn't do as much damage as some of my others, but it aims well. That being said, I'm still fucking up a lot of my aiming shots here, apparently. Bye. It doesn't aim as perfectly straight as I thought it did. It aims pretty straight. Just not perfectly straight. Aiming downhill, it does a lot better. If I'm going aiming downhill, it goes pretty much exactly where I want it to. But that's still pretty good there. I don't have to adjust my shots anywhere near as much. Okay. I know you're here somewhere. Hey there. And hey, come on. <laughs> uh, who's still around here? Who's still here? These are sleep fuckers? Wake up and smell the death already, Jesus. Do you count? Ancient bow's badly damaged. God damn it, that thing has lasted me for so long and now it's when it's done. Damn it. Well, I won't be able to rely on it forever, but I have a shitload of bows. Some of them even do more damage than the ancient bow, but it's don't aim as perfectly, but eh. It's not like I'm trying to shoot guardians from across the map like I was actually using it at the end of the normal game, so it's fine. Grab all this stuff while I can. Okay, Shrine 2. We are making progress. We're getting there. Can I get all four of these done in a single video? Well, I mean, I choose the length of the video, so yes, but... As long as I'm not here for like two hours, mainly because I can't record two hours because then I'll be gone for way too late. But if I can get it done like an hour and a half, then that'd be okay. I'm assuming there's more to the 
champion's palette than just this. I'm assuming this is essentially, this is the test to see whether you're capable of actually doing the champion's palette. That seems to be, oh, okay, water. That's not encouraging because electricity. What? Okay. Does the one hit obliterator still work in this case? I'm very curious if the one hit obliterator counts as a one hit kill here. Very curious indeed. What the hell? Not what I was expecting. I'm expecting the one hit obliterator to do a decent chunk, but not an instant kill. Hell, but maybe it will do an instant kill. It's honestly hard to say. I mean, it's meant to if it does what it says. If it does what it says on the box. Yeah, okay. What the hell? Is that just for the funsies of it? Well, hey, that may be the fastest um, major test of strength that we've defeated. Uh, any of these worth picking up? Uh, actually, almost definitely. I've probably got some weak shit. I can drop that. I can drop that. Uh, let's, yeah, Edge Battle Axe, Guardian Spear, Guardian Shields? Probably. I've pro- Yeah! When I died, in the thing, did I keep this? Very confused. What? Very confused. Grab that. Okay, well... <laughs> this is a weird one. It's weird to put this in here. Okay, yeah, the one-hit kill still works on that. It's infinite power, so fair, but... Oh, we're not actually done yet. Of course. They tricked me! They tricked me. Fuck. God damn it. Now what's happening? Oh, I'm going down for. Uh. Yeah, they tricked me. They, you got me. You got me good. Congratulations. You successfully tricked me, you motherfuckers. Well, at least I can see all of them coming. Actually, yeah, let's... Okay, while we're in just this area... Uh, up there, that one. And... Actually, this would be fun on this one. Okay, Not even gonna risk it on you motherfuckers. Hello! Just chilling here. Come back here. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, God damn it. That mmm. They tricked me. They they got me. I'll give them that. Credit where credit is due, also fuck you. I mean it's still a combat trial, it is still definitely a combat trial, so. They're not lying, but just, mm. uh, if there's one, if there's one type of enemy that I'm decently confident, confident about not taking hits with, it's these fuckers, but that just means I'm going to get hit at some point when I don't need to. I'm going to fuck myself over, like by going in here, an area that I definitely do not need to be going into. Oh, okay. I was expecting a trick. I'm still expecting a trick, honestly. Like something spawning, because I grabbed that. Anything? Anyone? Any who? Any how? Any what? Anywhere? Man, if items stay on death in this place, there's your place to grind <laughs> giant ancient, um, ancient cores. 
if that is a glitch that actually works. Okay. Have we, have we got more fighting here? Yes, we do. Okay, what is happening here? I don't think any of them can physically hurt me here. I got ancient arrows. Why did... Well, that does fuck all of them. Jeez, okay. Unless I gotta hit its eyeball. Oh, well, I knocked it off. That is something. Yeah, it kills you. Okay. No, 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 go to that one. I can at least shoot this one so I can shoot this one confidently. Fuck your challenge. I have a shitload of bows and I'm not afraid to use them. <laughs> uh. Again, I'm guessing all this is meant to be, oh, run around and hide. <laughs> With this, to run up there to hit it with a with a thing, but not fuck you. But as I mentioned before, if I can cheat, I will also fuck you. Uh, okay. Uh. If they didn't let you use the bow and arrow during this, I think this would be straight up annoying. <laughs> the, this entire journey. The bow and arrow is saving this from being an exercise in frustration. <laughs> Your triumphs over the test subvert a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. You did this stupid over the top difficult challenge, so hey, you, you did the thing. Yeah. In the name of the goddess, take this shit. And go do the other two one hit kill challenges. I will admit, they got me. They got me with this. They tricked me into thinking that it was over and that it wasn't. Yeah, I'm skipping your dialogue. I've seen it 122 times so far during this game. I don't need to see it. I, I, that, I said I don't need to see it, even though I did sit through and watch it. I just skipped the end part saying, may the goddess smile upon you. I was about to say, start loading, jeez. This is, ooh. It's still not as bad as it could be. Killing an, an, the other enemies in one hit and being able to use the bow and arrow and being able to sneak up on things is making this not as bad as it could. Where are you? What the fuck? Hello? <clears throat> How on, on this solitary plateau? I'm in the oh. middle of something here. What are you doing here? I mean, I know it's the champion's ballad and you sing it, but you don't look so much like this plateau. You're looking a mite dreary. Oh. Perhaps it's not my place to say as much. I understand more than most the burden of travel. I came to spot and pursue for an ancient song about the hero at this very yeah. plateau. We were destined to meet here. I would, yes. Oh. Sing your song about the champion's ballad. The flames crawl, the waters rise. The lightning strikes, the wind sighs. Oh yeah, it's that song. The beast beyond the divine fall. Awaits a hero forevermore. I like the idea this whole thing is for us to get our own divine beast and our divine beast is a fucking motorbike. Let not the sounds leave horses riled. Breathe in the breath of the wild. Hey! I like how it's painting around to the beast too. Mm. Curious indeed, as it were. I perused my teacher's old notes and found that mm. song there. What sort of sound could alarm a horse so effectively? Kabam, gachow, rumble, rumble. <laughs> Oh. It certainly helps the visit locations that inspired the song. Yes, it helps open my mind to inspiration. Those notes had other interesting songs too. I plan to visit those locations as well. The other Divine Beast. It is surprising to see you here, I must say. 
Ten arrows, yeah. I didn't- I expected you to be around at some point for the Champion's Ballad, because the whole Champion's Ballad is a song, the trailer for it was us singing the song about the Champion's Ballad. I just wasn't expecting to see him in the middle of two of these, just like that. That I wasn't expecting. Ah, uh, Cass. Probably one of the- Oh, oh, we're already in the cold. Okay, 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 okay. Important. Yeah, dress like a Rito. And we're unfreezable, it doesn't really assist us, but we're unfreezable. Don't fall in the water, we die instantly. This is the really frigid cold water. It's amongst the coldest water in this game. There's- what? Two? Three spots where the water is so cold that even with unfreezable you still get frozen? And one of them is in the starting area? I mean, that's cool, but damn. Rough. Oh, it's right, uh, basically, where we met the dude, King Rom, at the start for the... What's it called? The warm doublet thing. We're about... We're, that's where we're headed. Man, Great Plateau is such a good area. Oh, I love it so much. I've mentioned it before and I mentioned it at the start of the game a lot. It's so... Actually, you know what? Only two is cold resistant. Put on my soap boots. Not like the defense matters. Oh, cool. Go away. Pull you fuck off. Everyone fucks off. Non-stop in infinite fuck off. Yeah, I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again. The champions... Not the champions, the great... Yeah, fuck you. The champion... Fuck, no, not the champions ballot, but it's the thing we're doing. The Great Plateau. The Great Plateau is an amazing area and it is so good and I love it. It is such a perfect introduction to this game. As I mentioned before, the Great Plateau is a microcosm of what the rest of the game is. And it's so good. It's them being, it's what the whole idea of the game is, running around, exploring, discovering, managing resources, put into a very small scale. Because that small scale, that it's, it's somewhat more linear than other experiences that you can have. It's more predictable what's going to happen here compared to anywhere else. And most people going through here are gonna have a very similar experience. But, also because of its much smaller area, it has a much tighter focus, I would say the the exploration, at, well maybe not the exploration aspects, but the management aspects, the finding your way around, the mechanics of the game that work together as opposed to the environment of the game being the thing that you're exploring, all of those are very tight here. Instantly. You to die. Yeah, fuck you. Get the blizzard. Robe. Get the blizzard. Robe. Okay, that has dealt with the worst issues here. Yeah, it's just, it's a very tight experience here because of what it can do. Is it worthwhile trying to kill these fuckers from afar? Yes, yes it is, actually. Uh, this one. This one too. Yeah, the mechanics of the Great Plateau are probably the best here compared to anywhere else in the game. The exploration isn't because there isn't as much to explore and because it's all... It's all much closer together, there's much less of it, there's much less to do in exploration wise. You can't have as varied experiences, it's more linear, so you don't get that as many wildly different moments as you would in some of the other areas. There's not gonna be people talking about their time in the Great Plateau, talking about how wildly different it was or how they did wildly different things here. But the mechanics here work better than they do anywhere else in the game. Purely by the virtue of the area can be built around the mechanics, knowing what your limits are, what your fat, what your cape, fucking Christ, what your capabilities and capacities are, 
For example, going up to this cold area. The cold area is, you can get the warm doublet by cooking the food for the guy at the bottom. So you get it, so you can just go through here to get the shrine here. You can go up to the top of it by braving your way up there, and bam, you get the warm doublet and explore it carefully. You can use your food cooking to get up and just go to where you need to. Use the cooking to go up to the top to get what you need. Um, to go to the shrine. You can break, you can man you can slowly navigate your way up here by combination of lighting torches to keep you warm and finding and making campfires. There's just, there's multiple ways to approach it and it's built around up, oh, and it's built around all those different approaches in a very particular manner because they know what you're capable of. They know what you can do so they can build exactly to that. Who else is still alive? Who is still alive that is causing this to not be over? Where you at? You on top of the mountain? Oh, you're over there. I see you. And you're gonna super die. If my aiming wasn't absolutely shit, you'd die. I was... There was a time in this game where I was good at aiming bows, and then I started using the ancient bow, which is perfect. And then my aiming became a lot less good. Please be done. Yay! There's that tree that's down at the bottom that is perfectly put into a valley so you can chop it and it falls over and builds a pathway for that. Just the mechanics of the Great Plateau in terms of how all of the mechanics in the game are function better to all, like all together and as a whole here better than the rest of the game and it's purely because they can know what your limits are where the rest of the game has the exploration aspects of it because there's way more to explore giving you the plateau is linear because it's do the shrine, do all the shrines, you're done. Go to these four specific points. And you're... I don't know if you're told where those four shrines are, but you can see them all from the tower. There may even, there may even only be three of them. Is there four or three at the start? No, there's four, because you get enough to do the thing. You get enough to turn on your first health upgrade thing. And hey, we've got darkness. This is awesome. This is what I want. Okay, Etsu Karima. <laughs> Path of Light. <sighs> what is happening up there? Is that laser beams? We've got laser beams. Okay. Can I duck beneath these? Yes. Do these move? One of them is gonna fucking cut me in half. Feel it. Okay. It goes under. How far? No! So yeah, it doesn't go under far at all. Okay. Okay. Shield out the moment I come through. Okay. Big spikes, yup, okay. Big, big fuck off spikes. Big fuck off teeth. Because it's all dark, they could totally pull a dick move and not have a floor somewhere. I'm gonna fall to my death. And that'll bother me. Oh fuck. Okay, can't really go that way. Go over this way. Can't go that way, gotta go this way. Oh, that's way easier. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Shield out. Shield out. Can't see what I'm walking into, so shield out. There's this 
blue light that's around the edges of the, the walls. So I'm gonna guess that's to be, don't worry, there's floor all the way here. Oh, big fires. Just in case. Just in case. I'm not gonna run in there and test it, but if I fuck up, maybe I won't die. <laughs> Okay, it's a pathway. Yep. Oh, I only wanted to. No. Not that. Okay. Fair enough. Uh. This is invisible floors. Not invisible floors, but black floors. Oh. Hello. No, it's. Not flaws there. They... You... Stop being dicks and just fucking come here. Stop being a dick, come here. <laughs> Fuck you. Assholes. Ugh. Bloody butthole bastard bitches. <laughs> Just every swear word I could think of, motherfuckers. I didn't even say motherfuckers. Is that it? What are you gonna do here? It's gonna be a trap. No? You're not tricking me? Before I come out, let me equip my other thing so I don't freeze to death and die the moment I walk out of here. Let's just do this. <laughs> just to be on the safe side. Okay, there we go. Alright. Yeah, this is nowhere near as bad as it could have been. It's cheap. It's unfair. But it's built around that unfairness, so it's not... Mm. It, it's weird, because... <laughs> I don't like the design mentality of instant death. It is always... When you have a system... When, you, when you've got a game that's built around, you can take multiple hits of damage. Mistakes aren't a complete write-off because you're meant to make mistakes. It's a matter of don't make too many mistakes over a set period of time or find ways to recuperate from those mistakes. When you've got games that are built around taking multiple hits, Instant deaths are inherently cheap and unfair, and I hate to say this term, but kinda lazy in a sense, because it's just... So you know how we've built this game around the concept of being allowed to make mistakes and basing the difficulty based on the players allowed to make mistakes? What if we just say that they can't? It is a bit... Uh... It, that being said, at least this is built around the fact that it is like that. It's not just, oh, we just made it so you can't get hit. Go for it. The encounters are built around that concept. I don't even want to try and jump to that bridge. <laughs> I was about to go, I'll fly, I'll just fly down there. But if I land in the water, I'm fuck. Uh, no, I can make that. I can make it down to there. I was going to land on the boat, and then I realized the rest of the bridge isn't even a bridge. But now I can make it over here. Yeah, one hit death is inherently unfair because the game's not built around it. And it's inherently kind of, not lazy, but uninventive because it's just such an obvious go-to and such a simple way of adding difficulty that it's a bit eh. But I will give this credit it is built around the idea that it's a one-hit kill. You've got a weapon that kills in one hit, so it's a matter of... It's not you have to do things perfectly in a row over and over and over and over again to defeat this one encounter. You've got a one-hit kill weapon. It's a matter of get this single encounter on this single enemy right. Or if they put four enemies at you at one time, 
they'll usually give you some way of defending yourself, like they have the water thing on the fences when they dropped four of them in front of you at that one time, or they have the corners around in that battle shrine, both of those in the battle shrine, or just there, both of them activate, that none of them have weapons that hit you instantly, you are aware that, oh, these are enemies, they're approaching me, they shoot lasers at me to damage me, before they actually get to a point where they'll actually be able to attack you, and they've got the pathing around those little blocks there to go, okay, they're not going to hit you instantly, we're not going to hit you once out of nowhere. So, you've got that. That being said, the, the, the ball swings I decide, that's totally a case of, no, that can just hit you out of anywhere and you can't really do anything. And you, you kind of, ah, that is not what I meant to do, that is not what I meant to, to, fuck. And everyone, and, okay, the hall's been alerted, god damn it. Die. Where they're coming from? Oh god. It's amazing how much more terrifying this is. Haha. <laughs> in the mid in midair. Damn it! Fuck, I didn't even see you come up from the side. Well, a basic enemy got me at once. For once. Jeez. Yeah, I fucked up the beginning of that. See, in that situation, it's Oh, an enemy hit me from the side. That makes me lose. I press continue. Okay, he's taking his time. I'm still enjoying this. Again, it's built around it, so it's just a matter of... Here's a situation, carefully approach it, be careful. I think that's the big difference of why this isn't the worst thing that it... It has the possibility, it has the potential to be the worst thing ever, and it's not, because it's not... It, I mean, it is do it perfectly, you can't make mistakes, but it's not do it perfectly in terms of execute commands perfectly, fight perfectly, dodge everything perfectly. It's do it perfect in the sense of be careful. It's more, it's focusing your ability on being careful more than actually. My ancient bow has broken. Oh, fuck. I didn't even, I forgot I was using the, the ancient bow because I switched it in the other. Okay, so like this is kind of bullshit. Just a bat swarm. That's kind of bullshit. That one's bullshit. I'm gonna walk up here into a fucking bee. I hear them. See, that can just sweep you out of nowhere, and you just kind of gotta throw a bomb at it and hope for the best that you're gonna kill everything. That's kind of bullshit. Where are they? What was that? Actually, you know, okay. No, I'm not in a freezing environment. Go back to this. Partially because this looks cool, but I get told of enemy health patterns, so I know where enemies are coming from. Or I, I can at least see it a little bit further away. I just want to kill that one. Hello. Yeah, see, when they run up to me, I can just do that, and it's fine. Didn't I kill you? God damn it. Come back here, you bastard. Come back here. Oi. You little shit turd. Don't go back to sleep. Dealing with you. Come fight me, I dare you. I've got bombs. I've done this before. <laughs> Fuck, I pressed the explosion button. Urgh, you fuck these things. This war this bat swarm thing is bullshit. That I'll say is bullshit. Oh, I was pressing the explosion button, but I couldn't explode fast enough. Urgh. Okay, this one's annoying. Purely because of the bat swarm. The first time I alerted them and they just ran at me fast enough, and yeah, I fucked up there. That is just uh That's a matter of executing commands perfectly, not being careful. And now we're back here. Before I do anything, I don't need. Actually, I don't. Honestly, that's. Yeah, that will do enough damage. The ancient bow has seriously spoiled me. You can feel it, you can see it, just how much I've lost my aiming ability of knowing how high to shoot to make shots perfectly because of it.
They take more damage than I realized. Oh, right. I was I swapped over to this too, didn't I? Oh. I honestly shouldn't bother. <laughs> but I am gonna bother because it looks cool. These fucking bats. Can I save it before I take on the bats? No. Yeah, fuck you. I like how they put the silver ones here, so you- No, you're gonna fight one of them with the one hit obliterator. You're gonna do at least one of them with that. You can't get away doing this whole thing without it. Actually, you know what might actually be not a bad idea? This? No, no. Yeah, that one, yeah, so. Fuck you all! That'll get him fucking right perked up and dumb the fuck off. <laughs> Will it work if I shoot it? Come on. That is so not gonna work. Land in there! It's way too far. That is way too far. Uh, What's the plan here? There's one alive up in there. <gasps> See the thorns. Burn the tree down. Oh, don't burn the bees down though. Oh, fuck. How, how many of you are around here? Jeez. Where the hell did you come from? Two of yous. God damn, okay, there's a lot more than I thought. I'm gonna wanna not use this. I don't wanna... I don't wanna cause a forest fire taking out an enemy, and that's what kills me. There we go. I accidentally ducked and I was worried I wasn't gonna get the attack out in time. Fuck! Really? Fuck you! I didn't even see that! Ah, Bloody missed foggy fu uh Man, this one... Mm, this is basic enemies. These are basic... Just... Mobl- No, Bacoblins. And this is the one that's giving me the trouble. Grrr! Grrg. Arg. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. This is the last one, and then the shrine, and then from that point, I'm not sure. Hey! It's saved here, at least. So I don't have to take out the white one or the swarm again. Okay. It can be kind of generous with the checkpoints, then. Okay. Let's not walk into a sp spike bush. I've got this coral forest fog shit on my face. Can't see here. Do you hear me yet? Hello. Aha. Oh, you fuck off. And you fuck off too. No, 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 that's not. That's fucking off. Thank you. Oh, uh, okay. How many more of you shits do I have to deal with? I've got the one up in the tree, I know that. Who it seems to be, I just have to climb this, attack, and. I hit it before it hits me. It's too, it's got way too much health to try and take out any other way. Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah. Why did we get the sound effect of taking out the enemies for that one? That didn't happen on the others. Okay, maybe it's because I took out the last of all of them. <laughs> maybe that's why. <laughs> but hey! Ding, 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 we got the... Uh. This sure is an interesting way of this DLC going. One hit... De uh, again, because it's testing the ability to be careful more than perfect reflexes like most one-hit kill things are, I'm having fun with it. It's bearable. It's tolerable. I still wouldn't say it's necessarily good in terms of design. It's built around the one hit kill, so it's. I can get through it. I can manage it. It's tolerable. It is fun having to be this careful. I will give it credit for that. I'm having fun going, shit, one mistake could fuck me over. I need to be careful here. And analyzing the situations and taking care of them. 
based on don't die. I'm having fun doing that, definitely. I just still don't think it's necessarily good design. But that being said, when it comes to the point when you're talking about it's fun, but it's not good design, then what's the difference? What? Why does it matter? Why, why should you care if it's not well designed, if it's fun? To which I don't have a real good answer for that. Okay, so what the... F <clears throat> what is happening here? Okay, wait, okay, so it's right there. We've got to get a ball here. Okay. What are we doing? Can I magnet the balls? There's a treasure chest there. And a tiny ball and a big ball. What ball goes into here? A tiny one. What is... What is that thing over there? Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, well, we can get to the middle where we're safe. Oh, okay. You grab the big one, you get the treasure chest over there. Okay. But grab big ball, we get treasure chest. Get little ball, we get that. And a ladder down to a ledge there. And this is just a bowl to pick them up with. Interesting. I'm gonna guess the main challenge here is getting it up that. Fuck. Fuck, okay. How do you catch this shit? Uh, that, that goes for his chest. Hey! Fuck. Okay. Okay. This is very. It's a very. It's not a bowl, it's a dish. What up? Oh. Uh, a oh. Careful with it. Okay, knock, knock it back that way. Go in there. Go in there. Yay! Yay! Hey! Secret tre secret bonus treasure chest. Yeah. Oh, weird, but okay. <laughs> Frenic bow! My inventory Tor is what didn't I Oh no, I didn't let the ancient bow break. Right, because I swapped it to another one. Drop that. Frenic bow is better than duplex bow. Shooting two arrows is cool, but I have bows that shoot three. So don't matter to me. Don't bother me, none. Okay. That treasure chest that's bouncing around is a grabby one, so. Is that multiple bouncing around in there? Oh no, the treasure chest pops out back there. Okay, yeah, you're not gonna be able to grab it with that. Okay. <laughs> then you might be able to. Oh, oh, oh! Damn it. So it comes out and then. Pop! Damn it, fuck. <laughs> this is weird. This is goofy. I like this. Well, what the f Where the. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Damn it. This is dumb. Wait, this is so stupid. I love this. Oi, hey! Just slowly move back here. Hey, oh! Don't fall off the edge. Don't. Fuck. <laughs> this is dumb. This feels more like a classic shrine. <laughs> This feels like a shrine that would have been in the base game because this doesn't feel built around rounds one hit kills. This just feels built around fun with a weird gimmick. <laughs> I like this one because it's just dumb just trying to grab this. Wait, look at. Don't you bounce me out, bastards. Yeah, uh, oh, it, oh, ho hockey hit. There we go. Can I jump in here and grab it? Come out. Come out. Really? There we go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Gotta be careful of that. Don't want to drop it on me. Okay. So here is the actual challenge. Run up this without getting clobberfested. Official turn. So we've got one spiky ball going there. If I just... Okay, wait here. These go way slower. 
Can I just grab the spiky balls and chuck them off the side? I'm gonna try it. They're going slow enough for me to grab them. Not chuck them off the side, but leave them where I currently am. Like, if I just leave them here... Do I not have to worry about them? Don't roll into me accidentally. Don't roll into me while I'm grabbing your brother. That would be the worst way for this to go. It's gonna roll off the edge. Okay, you know what, actually? I'm sure it doesn't. I'll spot for you right here. Wait there. <laughs> uh, what can I... <laughs> it's not where it was meant to go. Uh, uh, uh. My motion control aiming at some point during this whole venture has gotten slightly skew if. Well, don't hit that one. It's gotten slightly skew if at some point, so my aiming reticule is a bit. No, 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 no. Fucking damn it. Okay, multiples don't fit in there. Fucking damn it. Chuck it next to the big ball. There's a thing that I can wait in there. Oh, this is so unnecessary. <laughs> uh, but I'm determined. More so, I don't want to. I don't want to get there and have to redo the whole grabbing the ball thing. Even though the amount of time I've spent on this would be more time than how much it would take me to re redo it all if I did fuck up. I just lift it high and wide. And go wait over here, and let's just hope that the other little balls hitting me doesn't hurt me because they've got speed. <laughs> There's only the two of them, so. We still want to avoid these. Ah, run, 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 run. <laughs> okay. Well, we might almost be done here. And... Plop. <laughs> what? What a weird start to this DLC. What the hell? <laughs> here, go and do these four shrines without getting hit. What? Okay. And weirdly enough, more beatable for me than the Trial of the Sword. <laughs> Actually, no, that probably makes sense. If th if this DLC was so hard that it was a massive, massive, massive challenge to beat it, then it would be, oh, I paid all this extra money for something that is really hard for me to beat. Where at least in the first DLC pack, if you can't beat the Trial of the Sword, there is other stuff. Kind of. Although it's mainly just clothing and the tra I mean the travel medallion and the clothing, Korok mask, hero's path, is that kind of worth it? Probably not. The DLC has all been shifted towards high difficult content, which is interesting because the idea of the main game is not super high difficulty. That is present in certain ways. But the main story isn't super difficult either. The main draw of the main game is the exploration part, so it's weird that they build the DLC around being super challenging. I am Mazkoshia. You have done well to conquer the trials laid before you. You are Hyrule's beacon of hope. I know, I've already saved the day, so it's weird getting this dialogue now. But your trials have only just begun. The divine weapon shall lead you. Please don't tell me this entire DLC is one hit kill, because that will be frustrating. I want this to be over now, before I do anything else. Are they glowing the four colors of the device? Well, the weapon's broken, so I'm gonna guess it's not good. Whee! Towards the four divine beasts, I'm gonna guess? Within range of them. Within sight of them. Okay. So we've got we've got the one, we've got the two, we've got the three, and we've got the four. Boink! Oh, is it just a shrine at each? No, that is different to even the shrines we were just seeing. Pretty music though that I totally ruined by talking over. Oh, they're like pedestal platforms. With three... Okay, so there's going to be another three shrines at each one. Those towers are the same towers that are on the shrines that we just did. So another three shrines at each. Okay. 
which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is another... 12, which is another... No, that doesn't work. Trying to see if it works in terms of that will give us enough hearts to max out our hearts. Go to the four locations that will be revealed to you and reach for greater heights than ever before. Pull out our map. Okay, so yeah, near each of the Divine Beasts, we have new things opened up to us. Okay. Hey, and our health back. Boom. You have completed the trials of the Great Plateau. After conquering the last shrine, the one hit obliterator split into four glowing orbs and scattered to different parts of Hyrule. There seems to be more to this trial. What challenges await? Go to the areas marked on the map. Hey, oh, we did it. We have done the Great Plateau one hit death extravaganza. Look at the shrines here. How they look. They, yeah, they have, yeah, they look different. The little markers for them. That's cool, because they've got the big tower things above them. Okay, well, given that we did just get four of these, we'll end the episode by using our four spirit orbs. And hey, I, I, it's still weird to me that the, the star of the DLC is a one-hit kill thing. I had fun with it, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed being that careful, and it wasn't, most of the one hit parts weren't, do it perfectly, it's super extreme, you could get, you could get hit in one hit anywhere, because anything will just jump out of you at any time, it wasn't like that, it was, if you take your time and be careful, you can avoid the one hit things, but a mistake will still fuck you up, it's, I, I've, I have very clearly based on how much I'm talking about it. I have mixed feelings on that. I have... Just go here so it takes that off and then we'll go back up there. I have very mixed feelings about the DLC starting with a one hit, with a, with a one hit death challenge. That is... Interesting. It is... Curious. Hey there buddy! Fuck you. Uh... Man, I just took out a bunch of you with a one-hit kill weapon. If the reward at the end of- if you get a secret reward at the end of this of one-hit obliterator for any part of the game, that would be dope. That would be cool, I'd actually like that. It still has the one-hit kill thing on you because it's still super overpowered. You just use it on the final boss. Heart container, obviously. Yes, I wish for another heart container. Boom! 28 hearts. And given the fact. I mean, may maybe each of them only have two. Maybe... Because the pedestals have three of those towers of the shrines. So maybe at each of them, there's two shrines that give you spirit orbs and then a final one. You have sufficient power. You should not seek to increase this any further. Oh. Was that actually it? Was that actually it? If that was actually it, then oh. <laughs> Why give us DLC that gives us enough for one heart extra? That's weird. That's even weirder! Hey, Gus. So, yeah, you're just here. Interesting. Big tower. Hey there. Anything else to say? Uh, non non oh. nothing about it, Drury? I trust you're doing well? I be okay, no. Oh. You're not talking about how it's Drury now, so it's fine. I- I know. I know, you're just singing your song. Why a DLC that gives us four shrines for four spirit orbs and not max out both heart containers and stamina? Can you play again? There we go. Why do that? Why give us enough for one more and not just another two and everything would be maxed out? That'd be awesome. No? Why not? Why let us be one short on each- that's weird. That is weirder than the one hit challenge thing. What? This whole DLC has me confused. <laughs> I, I had fun with the one hit obliterator challenge. I will admit I had fun, I enjoyed it. I still have very mixed emotions about it from a design perspective. It was at least designed around the idea that it was a one hit kill challenge. So it's not as bad as it could have been. I mean, I. It was a one-hit thing, but I didn't actually have too much trouble with it just then. I was able to... I, I was able to do all of them without too much stress or difficulty. It wasn't a beat my head against the wall for multiple hours to try and beat this perfect without taking damage. It was a, oh, I made a mistake. I know how to avoid that next time. 
except for the swinging ball things. Odds, still an odd start to the DLC, but hey, I had fun with it, so that's something, I guess. Point is, next episode, we've got four things to go to. I feel I should probably do these in the same order that I did the Divine Beasts. What order was that? I don't even remember. I think it was this, then I think I did this, then this, then this. I know I did Varuta first, I know I did Naboros last, I don't remember the order of the other two. Either way, I'll do it in the same order that I did it going through the game the first time, so it kind of matches and makes sense like that. Uh, anyway, point is, where's the, there it is. We're gonna save it. Part one of DLC done, of however many parts. I'm gonna guess six, one for each of these four and then one last one. I'm gonna guess. So, hey. Point is, next episode, we go take on the challenges of Rivali and Varuta. And so, when do we. So, when we go to that one there, is that when we get. Because the whole point of this and the way it was advertised was we're gonna get more story about the champions. So, will we get more story about the champions when we go do their things next to them? I'd hope so. It was billed as a story DLC that had a focus on uncovering more of the past of the champions, which we've got zero of right now so far, but well, well, point is, next episode, we'll find out. So, until then, this is version 2, signing out.